let's get into some news today. Starting with something here for anyone that holds any Bitcoin. If you hold it in a custodial manner, then there's a, an airdrop. I have no details on exactly what this is, other than the fact that it was tweeted by Cadence. Cadence is well respected within the Solana ecosystem. And this is specifically related to Bitcoin. So nothing to do with Solana or anything like that. And all you have to do is just check if your wallet is eligible, just putting it in, in this website, which will be linked below. So if you hold BTC, put it in, and we'll wait further details in terms of whatever this is. Now, this opportunity here is for Mad Labs, and I shared Devin Labs. So remember, we 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 spoke about this yesterday, maybe even a day before, can't really remember. This is something that I think could have quite a bit of potential. So we're going to keep on track of this because we're still early. Now that they've gone and tweeted it out relating to Mad Lads and giving anyone that holds Mad Lad an airdrop, then I guess they've upped their marketing. It looks as though they're going to be doing a token generation event sometime soon, and there's going to be an airdrop in shipping champagne bottles where they'll pay for the shipping and once you open that there's a digital cork in order to actually claim this D token. So we'll go over this another day. Maybe we can get the founders on for a podcast or something like that. But for now the actionable is if you have a mad lad, be ready and follow them and let's see what they can cook up. The actual crypto market is down. We've got sold sitting around that $130 mark, unfortunately. And this is what it is. I mean it's still September is not known to be typically good. And we can see it's, it's there's quite a bit of struggle there. It's at these points that we can't time the exact bottom of a market. So nothing's financial advice, but I still dollar cost average and buy in all these things because I think Sol under $200 is very worthwhile. Now the US 30 year yield, like a bond, falls slightly just under 4%. So lowest yield since December 2023. Once again, to make this nice and simple, let's use ChatGPT basically. When your bond yields go down, people are going to move out of them and they're going to put it into other crypto. So as, as the yield goes down, this is better for crypto, stocks, real estate speculation, which all ties into this you know, explosive 2025, end of 2024, maybe 2026, but 2026 is probably when we're expecting everything to implode. Crypto will implode beforehand. I'm more referring to stocks and then real estate. DJ News has reported on real Donald Trump vowing to make America for America, the world capital for crypto and Bitcoin. Not saying you should vote for him. And don't mind the slightest. Just this is one of his things that he's putting out. Kamala, however, is also using Coinbase to accept crypto campaign donations. So they're both now after you know cornering this market. I guess there's some advisor that proves that these people are probably going to be the next wealthiest people in the world. We also have the leader of the Venezuelan opposition, Maria Corina Machado, proposes using Bitcoin as a national reserve asset. Now, Venezuela, a huge amount of strife. They've got, I think, some of the richest deposits of certain minerals, maybe gold, which can mean they're a very, they could become a very wealthy nation. But how that happens, I don't know, they're, they're sanctioned against, against, it's a bit of a dictatorship and whatnot. We'll have to see. Someone like this person would actually have to be elected. I'm unsure how not familiar to see how that would go. Either way, bullish news. We've got some interesting developments here with the former Mt. Gox CEO's new crypto exchange set to launch this month with transparency focus. There'll be some exchanges launching this year and next year that are going to do really well. Like Cube, I think is definitely worth getting into. And this person here, although Mt. Gox did suffer an attack, a hack early on, the person's going to have an insane amount of experience in crypto. So this could be quite interesting. Sometimes if you made big mistakes and you learn from them, you're going to be more you know, experienced in order to go into the future. We'll see how it goes. Now the actual daily Solana and crypto calendar. Remember that you've got Token 2049 and Solana Breakpoint and today. So we've got Devin Labs partnering with Mad Lads, the airdrop for ENSR, and just other general, general stuff, which you can have a read through. Just make sure you've gone and bookmark this and check it daily. We're going to have more information that plugs into here and that's going to be the best source. Now, yesterday was a Solana ecosystem call. I want to do like a summary. However, sorry for the change of schedule with this video, but just busy with family stuff. So I don't know if I'll get a summary out today. We'll see, see how things go. But if you are like a developer or, or a founder or entrepreneur and you want to build something, you can go and apply to grow your company alongside Solana Labs. And this is the sort of thing that's produced you know, Sanctum went through this program. There are a couple of others I can't actually think of their names. You have to apply by October 4th. So do it now before Breakpoint because then you're probably going to be too busy. And also Breakpoint. I'm going to keep on reminding people about Breakpoint until we get there because this is damn important. However, if you can't make it, don't worry. Don't FOMO too much. I know it's expensive. It's a little bit of, there's a decent amount of money that it's going to cost to actually get there. So I'm going to pump out as much content as I can, follow it and share it. 
but we've got left curve, right curve with the Gigabrains tech side, and then activating the ecosystem. And we now have an actual agenda. So you can download the event app that you would have just seen. And then on top of that, this is how it's all going down. The day and then the events and who's, who's chatting. All right, tickets are doing fine. 4,800 have been sold, 200 to go. And also on the subject of Breakpoint, or more specifically, just Singapore in general. Remember, if you want to go to token 2049, the sale ends today. Use my code SEBMONTY10. Don't have a code for Breakpoint. They don't love me enough, so you won't get a discount on a Breakpoint ticket. But SEBMONTY10 for token 2049, it's 69, then it goes to 1299. So if you're going, probably good if you can go to both. The bonk miss is coming early this year to Solana Breakpoint. So, so everyone knows how much, how much I love bonk, but let's just have a look and see everything that's going on right there. So you're going to have customized merch, one-of-kind showstoppers for DGNs, instant bonk worth 420, exclusive Bow Bow and bonk merch, don't know what best, lucky poor, and a grand prize of 10 grand worth of bonk, plus more stuff. So I'm going to be doing my best to kick in to this. It all starts with this. So click on this. If you go to Breakpoint, go and request to join this. I imagine there's been a lot of requests. They just haven't gone and approved it. This is the last day of Miss Bonk Korea voting, what was yesterday rather. If you didn't do this, there's no guarantee that this is going to be part of your bonk dragon, but I assume it would be. So whenever we're doing bonk things, if you've got one or two wallets or three wallets that have bonk in them and a certain amount, just label them clearly in your soul flare so you know what wallets do what and get into everything with your bonk because they reward and it grows the ecosystem. You could hit bonk gold with three different wallets or more. The only nom might have his hands, but that video wasn't him. The dog trick you. Basically, don't know really what the, the slogan on that is, but we've got fight night. Fight night is happening in Singapore as well. You cannot bet on this though, and you have to go and buy tickets. There is no gambling in Singapore though, but you can check out Dragon Tail Lucky for ways to get some down on some action before you head to the flights. That could mean that it's going to be blocked with a V unless you have a VPN if you're in Singapore. Not financial advice if you use, not legal advice if you use a VPN. Jupiter has come out with this to protect yourself from sandwich attacks. A sandwich attack is pretty simple. It's it's when there's a transaction that goes through, like you say, I want to buy a thousand dollars of this new meme coin. I'm happy to take a cent of slippage. You put that into a block, a bot sees it, and they go and buy the, the token first and they buy a certain amount and then they sell it to you or they don't sell it to you rather you then get 10 percent different like you lose 10 percent of the value the slippage is eaten up and then in the next transaction it's changed in the liquidity pool and they sell back to the liquidity pool it all happens in one single block you used to be able to do mev attacks from Jito client or Jito's software and they turn that off just because it, it was terrible for the network, it was terrible for users. One way to avoid this is like in your Soulflare wallet is just make sure that your slippage is not set extremely high. But if you're going directly to Jupiter, you can turn on MEV protect right here like so. Justin, Binance founder CZ is banned for life from managing the exchange as part of his plea deal with the US according to the current CEO. So that says he's banned from managing the exchange. I don't know if that means he can still be a director in some capacity or whatnot. Either way, CZ influence is unreal. Please don't fade Binance or BNB chain, even if it doesn't mean you go and hold BNB. We do want to get involved with BNB chain, things like Cat and other opportunities that come along because the guy is the GOAT. He's a GOAT in crypto. Heading to token 2049 breakpoint in a few weeks. We've got more events here. So we've got the PayFi Summit 2024. This is just a bit of a reminder. Register for as many of these things that you could be interested in. And I'll, I'll end with my thesis at the end on why it's going to be so important. So important. Magic Eden has a new website for the United States people. It says that we have the same great products you know and love. Wild.io will give us the ability to cook up and saute even more features. I'm unsure with Magic Eden US. I imagine you don't have things like Lucky Buy. Maybe you do. Let's have a look at Mad Lads. Mad Lads collection has jumped up like 10 soul pretty quickly. No, you still have lucky buy. Okay. The token selling for this, the volume has increased. This is Wales market on the pre-market. So it's doing pretty well, but we don't know how many diamonds we can switch for tokens yet. I think, don't think we've got a, an allocation there. Yeah. If you're a writer, super team earned, there's a lot of people that apply for these and I encourage people to apply, but they don't put in proper effort. I do encourage people to put in proper effort, but there's a $2,000 pool here. Number one, taking home 1k. So get started today. If there's something you like. I don't even know what Toby is, just letting you know of a good opportunity for, there's a lot of people that watch this from different countries. So the Telegram CEO has says 
No innovator will ever build tools if they know they can be personally held responsible for potential abuse of those tools. This is true, 100% true. I don't have anything further to say other than the fact that the need for Web3 is increasing and increasing. And so if we start to see anonymous people build stuff, as long as there, there are no other major red flags, although I prefer a docs team, it doesn't necessarily guarantee safety of the protocol, I will be okay with that. So I'm, I'm thinking we're going to start to see far more anonymous teams building stuff, and we can't necessarily keep it think it's too much of a red flag because this is the only way that we're going to be able to get proper tech out there, in my opinion. Polygon developers are transitioning the Matic token to Pol. Not bullish on this or not bullish on Polygon at all. Just more letting you know that this is happening. Unsure exactly how it's all going to happen, but we'll work out what goes on. The Matic token has not performed well this year at all in any way. It went up and then there was a the right time to sell and then it's gone down significantly. Puff Puff has just announced six million dollars in seed funding and i want to see what my researcher says about this because i have a, a particular thesis on it nothing nothing in particular it's on a different blockchain which not excited for necessarily but we'll definitely follow because we will not limit ourselves to one blockchain but it's a vape to quit smoking and earn model either way my major point here is six million dollars in seed funding is pretty decent actually and on top of that we have a situation where the VCs know what this is all about. A vape to quit smoking model, maybe it's very obvious. But what I'm what I'm more getting at is the fact that this has product market fit without us even really thinking it has product market fit. So we're going to see more esoteric and just strange solutions to problems that we don't think are going to be valuable. And we will have to give them a little bit more credibility because they probably will be able to find a niche there. I mean, they managed to raise seed for money and I'd rather stuff like this come out than just constant meme coins that just extract liquidity. Let's go through the actionables. So bookmark the Solana ecosystem calendar to stay updated. More information is going in here and we're going to be doing faster live streams. Last day to vote for Bonk Miss Korea. Use Jupe's MEV protection to protect your swaps. Look out for early Bonk Miss coming this week and, and I will cover as much stuff on Bonk as I can. It'll probably come from the crypto class Twitter account. So I'll link that below. Make sure you follow that. Register for the PayPal PayFi Summit 2024. Last day to vote for Bonk Miss Korea was actually yesterday. So apologies for that. I think that's an error there. I think it's finished now. If I'm mistaken, I'll I'll check it at the end of the video and get your tickets for Crypto Fight Night in Singapore. Airdrop actionables, just a couple. Just if you hold Bitcoin, check out your CNSR allocation. Once again, I have no clue what this token is. I have no clue in any way. Cadence retweeted it. Cadence is well connected in the space. He's one of the early contributors to Bonk, wealthy dude of full-time Web3. Obtain your Bonk Dragon attributes before 30th of September. We still have time, but I'll do a video using my 10k to 100k challenge. That's all for today. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next video.